get started here. We need to continue to push in deeper. We want to do it smartly. I'd like to maybe this turn. I think it's going to be time to let them have their turn, but I want to just mortar infantry. Yeah, time for their turn because we had him wounded a couple of turns ago as well. And Lancers here. Very good, very good. Okay, so let's give them their turn to do their worst to us. Fellowships are heading off. Stage right, as it were. But I think they're safe, unless there's a German sub or something thereabouts. Our AA guns are continuing to get bombed. Artillery is taking its toll. Oh, good. AT support, though I don't know that it did much good. Oh, they really got pushed back hard. Okay, well, we can do something about that, I think. They're going to get AT support and do much better. It's a lesser armored vehicle. But we do need to address that front. Uh oh, more 38Ts. I presume these are 38Ts as opposed to 35Ts. Yeah, that, was if, that infantry is doing really hard. Probably send one of the, or the KVs maybe down that way. And the Romanians and the French right now are 35s. Which they did buy, they got a bunch of R35s. Yes, okay, it's 14 turns to take this, I wasn't quite sure. We have one of the three objectives. They did buy a bunch of R35s before the start of the war, the Romanians did, and then I believe got some more gifted to them by the Germans after the conquest of France. So I was wondering, I'm experiencing a full new set of bugs of the newest OB patch, or is it just me? No unit traits, no leaders traits, disband tooltip doesn't show. Um, I presume my game is fully um, patched up, and I have not been um, seeing those as. Um, let's see, can we we can find here? Okay, we have you you know. Um, information here don't know you know for commander zukov um for the general here i guess just just general um you get command of the unit here hmm Yeah, okay, I'm seeing what you're saying. Yeah, I hadn't really looked at it. Hey, Arno, good to have you here, my friend. Hmm, there may be a bug here then. So I do see his command radius. Obviously, we're seeing that. I don't know. Okay, just, and I always do this without preparation, so it may not always sound the most intelligent. Um good friend of mine who is rather knowledgeable on things World War II, but he mis mistook um, in a photo that I used for um, one of these, um, often if you look on my YouTube channel, yes, I'm also a YouTuber. Uh, hey, Tony First Gen. Well, heavy threat. Um, I often, you know, take a historical photo um, that sort of kind of relates to uh, the battles that are being fought. And put it in there, and he sort of mistook the photo of one of these 45, excuse me, 45 millimeter um, 
M1937 anti-tank guns as being a pack 36 37 millimeter anti-tank guns now these guns I think were more or less used throughout the war though I don't know when they stopped producing them but they are an actual um, licensed copy from the Germans they like uh, the Soviets licensed these anti-tank guns and the Soviets upgunned them and got manufacturing and design help from the Germans um, but upgunned them to 45 millimeters so they without really sort of getting into some sort of micro details on the on a photo or something to get you know um, I was gonna say vehicle recognition but anti-tank gun recognition or whatever it can be um, hard to distinguish them from each other okay well let's see where here is our air base um, these are all fighters uh, these guys are going home I think yes oh no these are the hurricanes that have just come up okay they're gonna come over here try to shoot these guys down these guys are going to sort of weak no okay now um hmm, we'll do it I th okay here are my illusions now that we are gonna have some more fighter coverage we've got these I want to strike out over here with them okay um let's get rid of um can i send them back uh, I, to, I guess I can't wanted to um, I guess we only do that at the beginning of a scenario I wanted to um, get them um, out of my current force use basically put them put them back in the um what would be the nut hanger so much you don't know what the term I should call that so that we focus a little bit more on ground attack aircraft but um let's launch you get you up there okay well we're going to also Guys, we will try to get them as healthy as we can. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Hey, Pixel. Yeah, I wasn't sure about. Um, I didn't want to disband them. I just wanted to put them um, into reserve or whatever it's called in this game, like I did a bunch of the other ground attack aircraft uh, to start up the scenario here. It's what I wanted to do. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of... Well, since we have them, we might as well do... 
and we take off, no, not more than one per turn on these airstrips. Proper airbase, I believe you can take off more than one per turn. Okay, um... They're gonna have the advantage. Let's... I just don't like attacking at bad odds. Romanians out, push in deep for the BA 10s. T 26s. Dealing reasonably well with Panzer 2s. Now. These guys will come here. Figured there would be some there. Put these guys into Crow Patch and reinforce them. the artillery maybe getting up there yeah they would but I want to save my AT guys so they're getting the full concentration down here we're going to come here see if there's anybody ooh well we just missed the mines that's good let's take out these barges Okay, some eight rads, and I guess it's supposed to be a transport SDKSZ7. I know they don't like towed anti tank guns and whatnot. Wonder if they'll ever do an um, OOB2 if Panzer Corps stuff, Panzer Corps will, will preclude it. Still got at least one more Soviet expansion for OB first, yes. Um, yeah, I gotcha, um, Pixel. Um, I don't know. I do know that they have one more expansion planned. I mean, that's been publicly announced. I don't, I presume Red will be in the title. I don't, you know, after Red Steel and Red Star. Beyond that, I don't know, and other than chronologically supposed to coming after that, if they're planning um, further development. My understanding, now this is going from what I sort of know or have been told to my understanding is, is um, the, the people that make... Um, Order of Battle are a different development studio than the people who make um, Panzer Corps 2. 
both published by Slytherin. So, um, yes, they inhabit the same space. Or um, Order of Battle and Panzer Corps, particularly Panzer Corps One, are are the very similar things. They're both very good uh, in what to do. Panzer Corps is a generation newer. Uh, that's for sure. Um, I would only presume the answer would be yes at some point, but I don't have any. I know I, I'm, as you all know, or you should all know, I am an outside streamer. Yes, I get tidbits of news, but I am not an, an official spokesman. Sometimes we will have um, some of the devs or whatever in stream, and there, uh, I don't think any are here today. Ah! Very good. Champagne eight. Um, yes. Carly version of the uh, thirty-two is a combination of a modified carriage of a thirty-seven millimeter and tank. Ryan Metals. It was buying by Soviet Union. Yes, with the forty-five millimeter. It was constructed in factory number nine or eight. Um, the reason for selecting a large reserve of French forty-seven millimeter cells. Oh, how interesting! I did not know that. Which can be converted by milling out the driving bands. Right. Okay. Very interesting. I did not know why they upgraded to it. I do know um, a lot of the BT series also uses uh, 45 millimeter rounds. And I just presumed, generally speaking, um, ammo compatibility is why they did it. But I didn't know that. They were buying a lot, and which probably also drove the BT series, some of the BT series with the 45 um, millimeters. Yeah, OOB could be, um, you know, the closer to World War II, probably the easier um, settings in that way, you know. Uh, but sure, Vietnam, I mean, Korea very much so, because it's mostly World War II tech was just a few enhancements. Um, minor overall, I would say. Sorry, one last year. Yeah, well, yeah, I, Van Bishop. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm thinking is, is, is you could do, um, you know, finish off the red, you know, the Soviet series. And move to Panzer Corps two as it, or I mean OOB two as it were, um, but you definitely could move into other eras of history. Yeah, that would be very doable, and yeah, it, it, you know, I'm old. Let, let's face it, I hate to think that, but I'm old. You know, I'm. Um, so you know, I remember when Panzer General first. You know, the first thing came out way back when. So playing, you know, an older game isn't a problem for me. It's not a negative, you know, that, you know, oh, well, there's newer stuff out there. Well, is it, to me, is just, is it a good game? And I would say, yes, this is a good game. You know, is it or isn't it a good game? And this is a good game. So, so yes. Um, there's no reason, like, not to um, complete this series and if they think there's an appetite for it because that's every you know however much the, the devs want to make something um, it, they have to look at whether there's an appetite is there an appetite for a Vietnam or Korea thing maybe very much and that could be a thing to do or if they want to go hey better put our time into creating something new whether it's order a battle too or just hey we have this other inspiration and want to go on you know i could even see as i'm sitting here and you're thinking some more modern stuff what about sort of like the belgian congo and the mercenary situations out there that could be fascinating or the um the nigerian civil war the biafran war whatever you want to call it um that would that could be fascinating to look into some of those uh conflicts that um don't get 
Falklands Island War. That could be um, moving around. And maybe actually as a scale situation, much better suited to what's going on here. Uh, you know, this is more, you know, company type size stuff. So yeah, you could do a lot of that if you want, if they wanted to. I don't know what they have in mind. Again, like I say, I am not as, you know, I am a presenter here, not a spokesman for them or Slytherine, generally speaking. Okay, I think we are done with it. Well, let's look through, see if there's any, oh, okay, yeah, no, we're not moving up to that. They're still just holding the line. Um, no, they're not going to attack. Yeah, they're holding the line, holding the line. Okay, that's it. I thought so. Oh, we should probably bring on another infantry unit on or something onto the map. We'll do that next turn. That should have happened. Okay, you're messing my artillery up. Yes, we go after artillery on the move first. Yeah, no, I was here because I'm thinking of some of the smaller wars going on in the 20th century post. I don't know if a Greek civil war, you know, that happened, what, 45 to, uh, I don't know, 47 or something. Whether that would lend itself to some of this. Yeah, well, I don't... Yeah, see, I don't know what the demand for it is. I'm fascinated with, say, the African Bush Wars would be sort of the term for it. Some of them, like the Rhodesian one, I would say is more of a insurgency model than a controlling hex, controlling victory point model. And I would tend to... Okay, well, we got some fighters. Hopefully they can get up here. Not quite. Well, they can get to here, at least. And... Now we have that one strength bomber. We're going to bring our... Older model. Spitfires. Okay, you need reinforcing instead of firing this turn as I'd hoped. Comrade Stalin, charge, charge, charge. Okay, despite fierce opposition, we managed to take our initial objectives in time. Good. Okay, so we have that. That was an important... Yeah, I know a radar and things like that changed a lot, but if you look at sort of like Biafra, if you know about that, which was a break-off province in Nigeria, um, uh, yeah, probably the Nigerians were using some radar, I'm pretty sure they were, but it was a very limited scope, and the Biafrans didn't have any. They did, they, they you know, some of the jets were like, vampires and other things that I think they were using some vampires or something. Maybe that was the Belgian Congo. Oh, yeah, it was the Belgian Congo, the, uh, the Katanga, the breakaway province in, in in the Belgian Congo, Katanga. Got some vampires, you know, the early British. Yeah, so, you know, if you're looking at some of that stuff, and also 
I don't know the cost in creating the maps and creating the units and the stuff, but it might be cost effective to try one of those compared to revamping, going over and not starting from scratch. That's maybe, yeah, and I w would think that be an overstatement here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Run into them. Okay, well, at least we know they're there now and we're not sinking badly. Taking part in that. These guys fall back to there. Yeah, well, like I say, OOB is a different bunch of people, so... Um, I don't know that they're thinking in terms of I don't know how I want to say it um, coinciding or working with um, Panzer Corps so much not that they shouldn't but I just don't know how they're They're doing that, and they obviously have a talented bunch of people that are developing scenarios and things, so I don't know why they wouldn't be able to. Create some good stuff. Over here, okay, they attack, they have not. The Germans are looking. Rather strong here. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't, I, you know, yeah, I don't have the answer as anything other than, than fun speculation along with you guys. Okay, we're going to bring you up. I know we have the one enemy fighter up here, but let's get you into the area. Might as well continue to launch fighters off the base here. No, that's right. I wanted him back here so we could mess up this artillery badly. strike on these guys and then move over next to them for air cover. There we're going to yeah, reinforce. They... Mm, 
move it to something over there. Yeah, back to these guys that are just holding the line. Okay. Still, again, I, I want to, um, if you have OOB and if you can, I don't know where if this to link up, but the Battle of Britain um, DLC that I originally was just, you know, it was a single mission DLC. I really like that. I just see, when I see this, ships try to move up, it reminds me of that. Those hurricanes aren't very quick. German reconnaissance is coming up. Okay, well. that momentarily one way or another unless of course you kill me in this turn which just maybe happening uh oh the Romanians are back okay so we've taken the prime one of the primary objectives of getting out of you know. okay now let's come down here Guess we can just fire from here. And we sunk their barges. Very good. Nope, they'll stay right where they are. Now let's see about what we can do about some of these fighters. Well, Yeah, we're going to send you back to the hangar. And launch these guys. And these now. Hmm. Now I think a, an attack on the studs would be good. Yeah, I was seeing pixels. Not being lucky there with the roulette. And you come over to here, try to eventually deal with that. Okay, well, we want to try to save our wee little T26s. So, Oh, I didn't even need to move these guys up unless, well, 
They move in the wrong direction. Ah. Uh. Okay, the Valentine's gonna take these guys out, hopefully. And oh, they got bounced back to here. Oh my god. Now they're gone. Okay, um. Well, you take that out, hopefully. And that'll allow these guys to escape and get back out. There we go. Ah, uh, better the ECB should use and to assist to bail out the bank system when the <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. I just have to wonder, does, is there anything for Lancer to quote-unquote buy in the SIS store anymore that he doesn't already own? Okay, well, let's see. You take on the studs. Push this way. Yeah, I think we're going to see about pounding some infantry here. to that, but hopefully it'll take these guys down. Well, not entirely, but good enough. Yes, it may not even really be gambling to him and that, you know, it, if he can't do anything with the money, it ain't really money anymore, it's just points. Okay, well, let's see. You come to here. You shift to here. And you come down to here. Getting ready for the assault because it's not a good time just yet to assault. These guys moved in. Yeah, yes, okay. Still have that one pesky strength. Stuka there. Okay, let's hound the artillery to death. didn't fire at anybody. Um, yeah, time to play is definitely a thing. another infantry unit. Uh, let's purchase infantry. We have three slots. Um, yeah, we can. Nope. 
Oh, allow me to do that. That takes makes it four slots. Okay. So just an infantry unit. Oh, well, we can bring them forward to the front right here. Very good. There we go. 